I decided to bring this outside for a little better look at the colors and maybe a little better look at the stitches. Specifically these crossing front post triples that I used. So I slid a knitting needle under them here to show better how they cross. And I think that shows it. Um, I would use black yarn for the trickiest part of it. But anyway, so that's a little clearer look. And uh, I'll just show a little clearer look at the corners while I'm at it. Um, a little different shadows. It makes it a little easier maybe to see some, some of what I did here along the way. Uh, these are, I didn't mention it on the other video, but this is a, a, a grouping of a back loop double, a uh, front post triple, and a back loop double done as three stitches together, and then the um, chain in between. So that's what makes this little bird's foot look to it, which I thought was kind of cute. Um, and I also didn't mention that a lot of these other rows are done as back loop, and whenever I do the back loop, I do the back loop and the third loop. So whenever you're looking at a stitch, you have um, what you normally look at, what you normally go into, which is the two loops. But if you want to do a, a back loop, which is just this guy, you get a better result if you go into the back loop plus that little bar that you see below it, which is the third loop. And that keeps it from stretching out. It holds it in place and you don't get that big pulled up loop. Um, sometimes it's necessary to only use the back, the front loop, um, and that will stretch out sometimes. And you have to be really careful with that. But with the back loop, you always have that, well, not always, but you do have most of the time that option of using the back loop plus the third loop. And that's, that's what gives you this ridge like this. If you do posts, you get a double ridge. If you do loops, you get a single ridge, which I think just makes a really nice finished look to it. So, don't want to necessarily do that everywhere, but here and there, I like it. Especially at the at the start or the end of a color, I think it uh, kind of makes something nice, makes a nice look to it. But then again, when I was a little kid, you could always tell my coloring when it was uh, posted up on the wall of the grade school classrooms because I put a black border around all my crayon colors. <laughs> I have a thing about putting borders on things. Okay, so anyway, that's the, uh, I guess, improved version of the video with a little better color, maybe a little better vision entirely. Okay, that's me again. Bye-bye.